to Rogue Company Season 11 is action packed. It's got a bunch of new things such as brand new rank rewards, high castle omega, a new event pass and a bunch of balancing changes. So let's dive in. So first of all, let's start with ranked. So how ranked currently operates is there are six ranked tiers and within each tier there are five divisions and the idea is that you have to earn 100 rp to be promoted within that division and you do that by winning games now there are a few changes to ranked entry levels your account now has to be 25 and you have to own at least 12 rogues and the reason for that is they're actually moving away from one band per team to two bands per team which is going to make it very juicy indeed but here's the interesting bit you are now going to get rewarded for being in the top echelon of rogue company players as you can see by this skin this is called the brimson dust and whilst it's only a recolor of the bone dust sahara this colorway is exclusive to being in the top 500. And those numbers may change a little bit, but this does provide some exclusivity to playing ranked and giving you a reason to grind for longer hours. And I must say, it looks pretty fire. And you also will get this rainbow dust steamer. And again, whilst it's only a recolor, I think Rogue Company are moving in the right direction to reward ranked play and encourage more people to want to get in and grind for skins. And for me personally, I think that's a big dub. Now you'll also get some other rewards just by playing ranked. So this shiny and chrome cannon epic outfit, it looks clean. And cannon did need a new outfit anyway. And again, it's only a free color, but it does open the doors to a lot of opportunity that's going to happen in future ranked seasons. And you'll also get this demonic games epic avatar just for playing 30 games this season. So with ranked being so competitive, you'll definitely want to be picking up an aim controller. There are loads of different ways to customize your gaming controller as well as getting an advantage on your opponents. You have remappable paddles on the back and mouse click like reaction buttons to get an advantage over your enemies by using Brad UK on the website right now for up to 30% off. Now let's talk about the new map. High Castle Omega is actually really, really stunning and it looks so modern. But the best thing about it is they've opened up so many avenues into the bomb sites. That will make it very interesting for coming up with different strategies for both attacking and defending. They've also added some verticality in the middle of the map. And this could be a very, very strong position if there is an objective in the middle, like say in King of the Hill or Strikeout. And I actually did a full video covering this map yesterday. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave that in the pinned comments. Now moving over to the battle pass. This one is called Free Wishes and is expected to last six weeks just like the last one. I won't go over the whole thing in detail, but predominantly you are getting three new skins. This crazy one for Phantom that is pretty gnarly indeed, and it's definitely going to be a fan favorite. This one for Ronin, which seems to be dividing opinion. And you are also getting this legendary Saint skin. It does come with brand new voice lines, and I love the fact that eyes are just glowing up. It looks very menacing indeed. In fact, if you want to see this Saint skin in action, check out the High Castle video I posted yesterday as I run around exploring the map with this skin. In addition to these three skins, you are getting a couple of really cool emotes, a few few cool weapon wraps and we're actually doing a giveaway for this battle pass over on twitter at underscore brad uk we're giving away two so all you have to do is go and follow me and retweet and good luck now let's quickly go over to some of the balancing changes they've reintroduced intel rogues and the people that have been assigned to it are dallas seeker and talon and they've also introduced glimpse and phantom into that category mac is actually going to be losing one of his best perks in my opinion rare armor is getting the boot in replace for nimble hands which will help him reload his lmg quicker but it does lose some of the toughness that mac possessed before especially being able to stack his passive with an extra armor perk He's losing Epic Stalker in replace for Bulletproof, which means he will increase some body shot resistance. But with Mac, you're really going to have to hit the head now. Legendary Crackshot is also getting the boot in favor of Legendary Stalker. Wow, he's going to move pretty fast because fixing with Legendary Stalker is insane. And Legendary Refill for Legendary Tenacity. So actually reading through it, he's going to become a little bit more tankier. He's just going to have a little bit less armor, which kind of feels like it balances itself out. There's also a note that his standard issue passive we spoke about a minute ago. It was recently reduced to 15. It's now being increased back up to 25. In fact, thinking about it, Mac's still going to be a very strong rogue. Now, Glitch is actually getting a small buff 
His hack duration is going to go from 5 seconds to 6 seconds, disabling your enemy team for longer. And the time it takes to hack is going to move from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. So you can use your ability a little bit faster now. Now, Cannon got recently nerfed. But now he's getting buffed again. In the last update, they penalized his movement speed whilst he was using the Gatling gun. That's now been removed. And the headshot damage has been increased from 16 to 18. Now, Dallas is getting some base changes. His Riptide is going to be replaced with the HRM. So the OG players will know that Dallas used to have this gun way back when. And his adrenaline shot has been placed with EMP grenades, which makes him a bit more useful in game modes like Demolition, especially for counterplay. Now, Talon is getting a bunch of perks changed too. His legendary perks, Tenacity and Crackshot, are being replaced with Life Drain and Nimble Hands which means his epic nimble hands is going to be replaced with epic crack shot. Epic life drain is also going to be replaced with epic tenacity, whilst rare hunter is going to be replaced with rare track arounds. Now let's move over to some weapon adjustments and more specifically the LMGs. It's time they got hit with a nerf and Row Company seem to agree as well. The MLX more headshot damage is being reduced from 24 to 22. They've removed the ADS movement speed upgrade from rare, epic, and legendary versions. And in addition to that, you're also getting a 5% movement reduction if you're using one. They've also adjusted the accuracy slash bloom behavior specifically with the MLX more. However, interestingly, the conviction is only getting a 5% movement penalty if you choose to use this. Our prediction is that the conviction is going to be a lot more used than the MLX more. It's <laughs> spare gun anyway. Now the objection is getting an increased mag size to 40. So this is a huge buff for this gun. It absolutely shreds up close at the moment, but you are penalized if you miss a few bullets. Now, by increasing the mag size up to 40, it does feel like we could maybe see the objection return to a bit of a meta weapon. We'll have to wait and see how this one plays out. Now, lastly, this mainly affects all the people that play competition, and you'll be familiar with the term stretch diffuse. Now, to combat this, they have reduced the radius that you can diffuse the bomb in from 2.8 to 1. So hopefully that will solve the problem for you comp players out there or just people that have experienced stretch diffusing in general. But that pretty much concludes this update. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But if you want to see the Higher Castle video or the Battle Pass, then check these videos out here. And don't forget to enter the giveaway over on Twitter at underscore Brad UK.